Hi there! I hope you're ready for some pie because in this video I'm going to show you how to create a pie graph in Google Sheets. Now if you're not familiar with a pie graph, it is simply a circle broken up into various slices that represent percentages or parts of a whole. Typically, each slice in the graph is a different color and each color represents a different category or item. Now the thing about pie graphs is that they are actually pretty bad at doing what they're trying to do. Take a look at this graph for instance. As you can see, there are four different slices, but it's a little difficult to see the subtle differences between them. Now what happens if I look at the same data in the form of a bar graph? My brain has a much easier time comparing the lengths of the bars than it does comparing the sizes of the pie slices. This being the case, if you have more than two categories that you want to compare, use a bar graph. If you have only two, feel free to use a pie graph. Since I have introduced both pie graphs and bar graphs so far, I will show you how to make both of these in Google Sheets. Now to make a pie graph in Google Sheets, you need two things. First, you need a list of categories. Second, you need a list of values that correspond to each category. Once you've got these, you're ready to go. Start by selecting both the categories and the values. Click on the Insert tab in the Google Sheets menus and then select Chart. Google Sheets will try and guess what chart you're trying to make, and in this case, it got it right. If for any reason Google Sheets gets it wrong, here is how you can change the chart type. Start by clicking on the chart, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner of the chart, and then select Edit Chart. The Chart Editor panel will show up on the right side of your spreadsheet. Under where it says Chart Type, Use the drop down menu to select the chart you are looking for. Now what happens if you have more than two categories? In this case, it's best to use a bar graph instead of a pie graph to show percentages. The first thing you need to do is create a percentage metric for each category. To do this, add the following formula to cell C2. Equals B2 divided by sum, open parentheses, dollar sign B, dollar sign 2, colon, dollar sign B, dollar sign 5, Close parentheses. You can then use the fill handle to drag the formula down the rest of column C to create a percentage for each of the values. Now how does this formula work? Let's take a closer look. The formula in cell C2 takes the value in B2 and divides it by the sum of all the values. This is because a percentage is calculated by taking a value and dividing it by the sum of all the values we are considering. In the case of the formula, B2 contains the single value which is then divided by the sum of all the values. Now why are there dollar signs included in the B2, B5 reference and not the B2 reference? The B2 reference is a relative reference and we want it to update as the formula is dragged down through column C. Take a look at how B2 has changed to B3, B4, and then B5. On the other hand, dollar signs were added to the B2 through B5 reference to keep it from changing. Going back through the formulas, you can see that the reference is the same throughout each one. Now the last step in creating our percentages is to format them to actually look like percentages. You can do this by selecting cells C2 through C5, and in the Google Sheets toolbar, click on the More Formats button and select Percent. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to creating our bar graph. Start by selecting the categories with your mouse, Next, holding the control key, select the percent values next. Now with both the categories and percent values selected, we can now go to insert and then select chart. If Google Sheets creates the wrong type of graph, we can simply change the chart type to the one we're looking for. And that about sums up how to create a bar graph and a pie graph in Google Sheets. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Live video.